friends, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Krista and I do all things vintage home and DIY, lots of thrift hauls and decorating. Today's video, we are doing another thrift haul. This one is going to be fall themed. So I've got some traditional fall pieces as well as some vintage. You guys know I love vintage. I know you love vintage. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of these items that I got. On our second cup of coffee it's actually nice in the sunroom this morning which is so nice I'm not dying in here yet so I am very appreciative of that I happened to be perusing Facebook marketplace yesterday I came across a garage sale that was happening only a couple minutes away from my house and she had lots of vintage glassware this first item is probably what drew me to actually going to check it all out she, it looked from the pictures like she had quite a bit but when I saw these I really wanted to get there and I thought that they were goblets at first until I realized they're dessert dishes. But I think these would be really beautiful in a fall tablescape. I love amber glass, just the warmth from it. It feels so very connected to fall. So I've been wanting some of these for a little while. Technically I've been wanting goblets, but I think these will still work really well in a fall tablescape. And I think they're really beautiful. She sold these to me for a dollar a piece and I got six of them. Taking a quick peek at Google Lens to look these up and see, I'm seeing a set of these on eBay. Indiana Colony Glass King's Crown Amber Footed Tall Champagne Sherbert Glasses. They're selling a set of four for $14.99, so not crazy pricing, although they do have the shipping at $16.95, which sometimes I think can be reflective of how much something's really worth. They price it a little bit lower and then put really high shipping on it. I could be totally wrong about that, but I do feel like I see that sometimes. And from the other people that I'm seeing that are selling them, they're asking more than that. So this Etsy seller has a set of six, just like I do, and they're selling them for $42. So I think I got a pretty good deal because I got these for a dollar a piece. She actually had some really small goblets. Honestly, I should have just picked them up. She probably would have sold all of them to me for a dollar, but she only had three of them. And I really like to have sets of six and it's so hard to complete a set when it comes to like really specific things like this. So I kind of regretful that I didn't purchase those from her. Along with those, she also had this really beautiful amber glass apothecary jar. It's got the hobnail detail on it. Really, really beautiful. She said this was actually one of her favorites, but she only charged me $3 for this. And it does have the Fenton sticker on the inside. You can see that. One of the things I really like about it is you can kind of see it's got this nice kind of like floral shape to it. Of course, I love, you know, the hobnail detailing on it. And then also the lid, I love this little handle with the little kind of like beaded detail on there as well. It's just so, so pretty. And I think is a really classic, like beautiful piece for fall. When I looked online, these were not selling for like crazy prices, but like around 30, 25, $30 seemed to be pretty normal for these. I did see some that were selling for a hundred. I don't know if it was the specific style of the Fenton Amber Glass, but this particular one I think I saw for around $30. So I think for $3 that was a pretty good deal on it. I think it's really beautiful and I can't wait to use this in my fall decorating this year. This item was one that I did not initially pick up. I was actually kind of taking a like one more lap around. She had a ton of stuff. So I kind of loaded up my car, paid for what I had gotten, and I wanted to do one more lap because she had so many things to look at. And she knew I was looking for sets of six. So she said, what about these? These are cute. And initially I was like, ah, I don't know. And then I thought these actually would be really pretty in one of my tablescapes, maybe even like a Halloween tablescape. I wish that the silver was a little bit more tarnished, but I think they're kind of cool. I think I looked these up and they're some type of tea glass. I don't know for sure, but the glass piece comes out separately. I got a set of six of these for $2. So I think when she told me $2, I was like, yeah, I think I could use those. So I need to clean them up a little bit and I do hope that maybe they tarnish a little bit more over time. I don't know, it might not be uh, a natural process for whatever type of metal this is, but I think these are cute. I think for two bucks, it was kind of just a no brainer. I can definitely work these in somewhere and they're interesting little pieces. I need to look into them a little bit more to see 
like what exactly they were used for. Like I don't know if this was like an after dinner tea kind of thing or what. So also from that garage sale, I got this really beautiful black amethyst depression glass sugar dish and it came with the little, I always call these teacup plates, but I know that they have a name and I just can't think of it right now. Um, but when I looked online, the brand that this most likely is from is L.E. Smith. They didn't look like they were terribly expensive, but they're really beautiful and I think it's an attainable collection to grow when they're not sold for super expensive. Like. For me, I don't value the way I like things by how much they cost necessarily, but just what I what I like. And this is a collection I would definitely grow. I think it's really pretty. I think it works very well for Halloween. And you can actually tell, I don't know if it'll show up on camera, when you're kind of looking closely at some of the edges of the glass, that it is actually an amethyst color, but obviously like when it's all compressed the way it is, it almost looks black. I love the scalloped edges on it. I think that's so beautiful. So definitely a collection I want to grow. I think to do an entire tablescape with this black amethyst depression glass would be really beautiful if you could find plates and goblets and things for Halloween. Oh, that'd be so good. So I'm gonna start working on collecting these items when I see them. I will say I don't run into them very often or I haven't up until this point. Maybe it's one of those things where now I'll notice them more now that I've like got a piece. But anyway, I think this was really cute. And I believe she sold this to me for a dollar. Um, I think it could have been a dollar each no more than $2 for sure. So then from a different garage sale, I found these little pumpkins. I've got three of these, so I'll show you kind of all the different ones here. What I love so much about these is that they're not that bright in your face orange color. They're a little bit softer. I love the texture to them. They've got kind of like a stone, like a very porous stone look about them. And these actually remind me of the Pottery Barn jack-o'-lanterns that are so popular this year and they're ridiculously expensive. I actually found these before I had seen those, but this apparently is going to be kind of a popular look for this year. This like kind of soft orange color with this almost like powdery finish to it. So yeah, that was kind of a random find that just so happens to kind of be in style right now. Obviously these are not vintage, but these look like something that maybe came from Kirkland's. I I would guess it doesn't say, but I do have a little tag on the bottom that says that this one was $4.99. It doesn't say where it came from. And it came with two little pumpkins. This little guy. This one was originally $2.99. And then this little guy as well. So I don't know how much this one was. I would guess probably either $1.99 or $2.99 like this one. So I think what I want to do is go for a little bit more of a traditional fall feel in the dining room. You guys, if you saw my first fall decorate with me this year, it was in the sunroom. I definitely did like a darker, moodier fall palette in here, not your traditional look for fall. And I have a three-year-old and he loves fall and Halloween and all of that. So I think inside the house, maybe in the dining room, living room area. I want to go a little bit more traditional to make it really fun for him. So orange pumpkins, but I feel like a good compromise because it's not that like bright in your face orange. It's a very like soft, pretty um, orange with, I just love the texture of it. Like how, how fun is that texture? Everything that I got from that garage sale was $2 like total. So the pumpkins as well as these fun candlesticks, I have no idea what I'm going to do with these, but when I saw them, they're just very like Tim Burton-esque. I just had to have them. I wish this one had more drip to it, so I might have to burn this one down, but I love the drip on this. No clue what I'm gonna do with these, but how cool are those? I have lots of candle holders, so I'm sure these will fit in one of them, and I'll find a spot for them. They're much more like traditional Halloween style, but I think I can work them in somewhere. So I had to pick them up. I should look and see if I could purchase these somewhere. Maybe it would be fun to do like a whole bunch of these and have them all like different heights and I don't know. They're just kind of fun. Don't you guys get Tim Burton vibes from these? Yeah. So the candlesticks and the set of pumpkins plus my son found some 
little Christmas trees that he just thought were so cool he had to have them so I was gonna buy him like two of them and the lady just gave him a whole bunch so he's got them on his train table they're like what you would I don't know use in like a little Christmas village or something but anyway so all of that together was two dollars there are so many times when I buy things for him as well that I don't share on here but I get a lot of like great kid stuff uh, not that those were necessarily like kid things but um, he goes with me and he loves it and so he usually makes it out with like a little something and you know that's what he that's his reward for being my little garage sale buddy and being a good sport about it so then I got these two garlands both for five dollars together so two fifty a piece and I just thought that they were a little bit different they're made to look more like a pumpkin vine kind of thing it's got this like fuzzy um, stem on it the leaves are like a felt and they have these little holes in them to try to make them look a little bit more realistic. So I don't know for sure if I'm going to like these or not. I don't know. I can't tell what I really feel about them, but I like the colors of them. And I think once I get them in place, they might feel okay. Um, obviously real leaves are not made out of felt and they're not really like fuzzy like that so I don't know but I like the colors of them if nothing else I could cut all of these pumpkins off and have a bunch of little pumpkins and I still think five dollars is probably not a terrible deal for that probably closer to like a store paid price but I think these little pumpkins are somewhat realistic looking so I I think either way this was kind of a a win no matter whether I end up using it as a piece all together or if I just use like bits and pieces of it I think I'm gonna try this on top of my china cabinet and I may even actually get some other kinds of leaves or greenery or something to mix with them so that they're kind of blended in there so we'll see I guess I might be doing a fall decorate with me in there I hadn't really planned on it initially but I might now that I kind of have some different things that I think would work really well maybe I will plan to do that so that's that we will see kind of how these turn out the next few items came from a different garage sale so these are three different garage sales that I went to over the last couple of weeks and this one was actually a gal who had an antique booth who was selling off some things she didn't have an antique booth anymore I don't think and so she had a lot of really great like older items I got more items at two of these garage sales and I kind of split my hauls up into two separate hauls so you're gonna be seeing more from these garage sales here in the next thrift haul video that I post so first up I found you guys know that I'm like very into the bottles right now creating like an apothecary look for Halloween and also just everyday decorating. I love these, but this one was a dollar. It's got a nice like rusty lid on it. So this bottle is very interesting to me. I love the like quilted design. I'm not sure exactly what you like the proper name is. You guys will notice that about me. I don't know the proper name for these things all the time. And honestly, as soon as you like start filming anyone who <laughs> does this probably knows that like all of the like intelligent thoughts kind of leave your brain and all of a sudden your vocabulary is like very basic but looking this up this is probably like a whiskey bottle from the like 20s or 30s uh, art deco was kind of what i was seeing so yeah it does look like it could probably be cleaned up a bit but you guys know i'll keep it dirty at least for halloween and with the rusted lid i don't know i might just keep it this way also had this which is just kind of a random interesting piece this was also a dollar and it is actually an old cigarette can you can actually there's actually still tobacco in there just like kind of broken up down in the bottom most of the ones that I saw online were in much better condition than this one and the colors really faded this one's also very rusted but again kind of like that look that's my vibe I dig it so I thought this was kind of a cool find. I also had these picture frames. I paid $3 each for these. What I think is cool about these is that they have real antique photos in them, like family photos. Let's see, I think we might be getting a little bit of a glare. I'll try to get some really good shots of these so you can see. But I like that they are matching and I could definitely use these maybe in like a gallery wall or just in a little vignette. I love to examine like their outfits, what they're wearing. You can definitely tell the time period from that. 
This one in particular, they've got like corsages and boutonnieres on, so you wonder if this was from some kind of fancy event that they went to together, which I think is just kind of a cool thing. I should open the frame and see if there's any writing on the back because they're very well maybe. I have not tried. Shall we see? Should we look? You think we should look? Let's see. Let's see. I don't want to ruin it at all, so. Oh, there is stuff written on the back. Okay. Oh, oh, you guys. Look, 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 look. This is cool. See, this is why you open these things. Yes, okay. Mr. and Mrs. I think that says Q held. Grandma and Grandpa seated on their wedding day. Behind them is Peter Peterson and Inga Lofton. I wish that they would have put the date on this, but so cool. Shall we look at the other one too? What do you guys think? Love that. Don't think the frame is probably original, but who's to say? I mean, I really don't know. Let's look and see if we can find anything about these people. Oh, this one came out much easier. And there's definitely writing on the back. <gasps> oh my gosh, you guys. Cool. Okay, there's a lot going on on here. This is our photographer for this picture. I love that they put that on there. I need to look him up. How cool is that? There's probably not much about him, but we'll see. 1902. got her here when she was 10 and then this is her on her wedding day so that's kind of cool so we know that this one was in 1902 and she was 10 years old we can assume this was probably we don't know for sure but probably at least I don't know 10 ish years later so I don't know 1912 or something like that so if you find all the pictures look on the back of them to see if you can find any info out it would seem to me that Mrs. Hild's granddaughter did some research on the family history and she went through and wrote down on the back of these photos who the people were. I think that's really important if you're going to be doing any like family history research to write that stuff down so that as it's passed through your family, um, you can kind of keep track of who it is. Didn't stay in the family, obviously. I ended up with it, but I still appreciate kind of knowing a little bit about who these people are. Um, just because I think it's really fascinating and I really love knowing like the dates. So anyways, very interesting to say the least. gave you some inspiration on what to kind of look out for as you're hitting your garage sales and thrift stores for some fall decor this year. If you want to see more of my thrift finds, check this video out here and we'll see you very soon in a brand new video. Bye!